In this Quickie with Exegius, we look at the flight assist modules available via Outfitting. These modules not only make certain repetitive flight tasks easier via automation, but they ease the steep learning curve for new pilots. Let's look at the standard and advanced docking computers and Super Cruise Assist modules. All three modules are Class 1 optional modules, have no mass, and can be outfit on any ship. There are two types of docking computers, standard and advanced. Both are capable of automatically docking your computer at stations offering the capability, with the advanced docking computer able to launch your ship, flying you out of the mail slot in large stations and off and away from the pad in medium and surface bases. To use either for docking, you simply request docking and when prompted throttle down to zero. This will allow the docking computer to take over, landing on the appropriate pad. The advanced docking computer is equally easy to use, with you selecting auto launch from the main menu while docked. As necessary, either will put you in the inboard or outbound queue, launching or landing when available. It should be noted that both computers are less than perfect and can at times malfunction, banging your ship into the stations, sometimes with deadly consequences. This is, however, rather rare. The Super Cruise Assist module has a few functions, namely to ensure you avoid the loop of shame. That is passing a target in Super Cruise due to late deceleration. When you outfit, you can select your target from the left panel, selecting Super Cruise Assist. Once engaged, you'll be prompted to set your throttle to the blue zone, or more accurately, 75%. This will not only ensure proper deceleration on arrival, but automatically dropping you from Super Cruise to normal space at the appropriate time. When your target is a stellar body, Super Cruise Assist will put you into orbit of that body, again ensuring you don't overshoot your target. This can be very useful to budding cinematographers as you can get some wonderful shots from the external camera this way. To reach your destination in the fastest way possible, set your throttle to 75% when you are 7 seconds from your destination as this will begin your deceleration at the correct time, then automatically dropping you from supercruised when available. The options for both modules are located on your right, Systems Panels, on the Ship tab under Flight Assistance. There are five options here. Flight Assist, which enables and disables the Super Cruise Assist functions. Auto Dock and Auto Launch affect the docking computers. Hyperspace Dethrottle, another part of the Super Cruise Assist module, will automatically bring you to zero throttle at the completion of a hyperspace jump. However, this feature does not work for HOTUS pilots, as the physical throttle will override its attempt to bring you to zero throttle. Finally, Rotational Correction will keep your ship in rotation within a station, when switched off, this must be done manually. While these modules are most beneficial for new pilots, they can offer time savings and convenience to veteran pilots alike. Using auto dock and launch can allow for multitasking during those procedures, letting you plot routes, look up trade data, or other non-flight tasks. Super Cruise Assist is useful for explorers headed for distant bodies, ensuring they don't overshoot their targets if they take their attention away from their controls. With all ships now offering at least a single Class 1 slot, these modules can fit into any build you may like. Once again, this has been Commander Exegius reminding you to fly dangerously, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this Quickie with Exegius, I hope you'll join me on my weekly live streams, Tutorial Tuesday, and Friends on Friday, and that you'll consider supporting my efforts via Patreon.